Hey everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my favorite MAC lipsticks for brown skin girls, women of color, you know. So, um, yeah, we can get straight into it. Um, so first off, I'm going to start off with pinks. So, personally, I'm not really a pink girl. I don't really like light pinks. And um, most pinks are yellow undertones, so they make your teeth look really yellow. Even though I have braces, you can see a big difference. But I'm going to start off with the pink lipsticks. And I'll have three lipsticks for each category. I'm doing pinks, purples, reds, and nudes. So, um, yeah, keep watching. Okay, so the first pink lipstick I'm going to start off with is uh, Amplified, and it's called Impassion. I actually have not wore it out yet, and it looks like this. Hopefully my camera doesn't wash it out. On camera it kind of looks orange, but it's really like a coral pink. But I'll swatch it for you. This is what Impassioned looks like. So this is one of my favorite pinks because, for one, it's not yellow tone. It's very blue based, but it almost has like a like a deeper pink I don't really like light pinks because they wash you know brown skin girls out but I really like this one and um, the lip liner I will pair with this is magenta lip liner and people like will think this is in purple but I think it's more in pink so I'll swatch it next to each other it is more purple but it's a really cute combination. I actually saw this on Miss Carlos's channel here on YouTube when she did her favorite MAC lip combos. And I went and tried it in the store and I loved it. So this is really pretty for the summer. I actually haven't worn it yet because it's still basically the winter time. Well, spring now in Michigan. So I plan to wear it soon. But it's a really pretty lip combo. Um, if you want a video of me trying on these lipsticks, please comment down below and like so I know what to do next. So yes, magenta um, lip liner and impassion lipsticks are a must have. Okay, so the next color. pink lipstick that's on my fave is a matte lipstick and it's called Please Me. This is probably the only like really light pink lipstick that I like because for once, again, it's not yellow undertones. It's really blue based and it almost has like a nude pink mixed in there so I'll swatch it for you. So this is what Please Me looks like. It's really blue based. And usually I will pair this one with either I have here Sore Lip Liner. And it's almost like a brown darker pink. And it makes a really pretty pink ombre effect. So here is Please Me Lipstick and here is Sore Lip Liner. It's really pretty on. I feel like brown skins, people always have so much to say about us brown skin girls that we can't wear certain lip colors, but I beg to differ. We can wear any lip color. It's just that you have to blend it well to have a easy flow between your lip color and your actual skin tone. So I feel like these are really cute, you know, for pinks. And I'm not so even my a pink last girl. lipstick for the pink um family is a retro matte and i got it in the retro matte collection and it's called flat out fabulous and it looks like this it's a really pretty matte kind of fuchsia color so i'll swatch it for you and it is very matte but i love it so this is what it looks like it's a really pretty bright fuchsia. And you can see it's brighter than Impassioned. Impassioned is really more on the coral red pink side. And this is more on the blue based, like actual purple pink side. But you can see it's extremely matte. And with this color, I'm not really sure which lip liner I will use with it yet. I know that... um the pencil ink collection had a color that was similar to this, but I didn't pick it up. But honestly, I would just wear this by itself. And that would be so it. So for my next, um, I guess, collection, I'll do purples. And this is probably my favorite one because I love dark lips. So the first purple and the very first lipstick I ever bought from MAC is Up the Amp and it's Amplified. It looks like this. It's a really pretty blue-based 
um, purple. I'll swatch it for you. And it's really creamy. So this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color and you'll see throughout this video I like everything blue based because it makes your teeth look wider and yellow just, just, I don't know, it just doesn't look cute on brown skin. So this is what it looks like. So usually I'll either wear this lipstick alone and put Viva Glam Mickey 2 over it or I will pair it with Night Moth or Current Lip Liner for ombre effect. And I might as well just talk about these lip liners since I just brought it up. So this one is Night Moth. You can see I use it a lot. And this one is Current. So I swatched them both next to each other. Night Moth is described on the MAC website as a blackened purple. And Current is more of like a berry purple with like red undertones. So this is Night Moth. You can see it's a black and purple, and this is current. You can see it has more of a red undertone to it, but both look really pretty ombre into up the amp. So the next lipstick in the purple family, I actually got it before my birthday last year. My birthday is September 6th, by the way. And it's a matte, and it came out in the... Dang, I forgot what collection, but I'll look it up, and I'll put it in the description. This is called Lingering Kiss, and it's matte looks like this I remember when I first bought it everyone was saying oh my gosh it looks exactly like cyber no it is nothing like cyber and you'll see that so I'll swatch it for you it's actually like an exact dupe of current almost like literally almost so here's lingering kiss and here is current now as you can see they're basically the exact same color it's almost like a dark purple with red undertones in it and I love it I wore it for my birthday my 16th birthday last year and um, if you follow me on Instagram you see I still have a picture up I was wearing a green dress go look at it so yeah my last lipstick for the purple family you could probably guess is the infamous cyber Girls nowadays cannot get enough of cyber, but I see why. Like, it's just the perfect dark purple lip. It's not black, but it's close to it. But it's enough if you want to, like, stand out. So let me swatch it. And I forgot to say, cyber is a satin finish, so it's really, really creamy. Satin finishes and amplified finishes are really creamy. So here's cyber. And it's kind of funny because you can see that Cyber will go with Night Moth and then Lingering Kiss, which is limited edition so you can't get it anymore unless you get it off eBay or something, goes with um, Current Lip Liner. This is what they look like for the Purple family. So we have Up the Amp, um, Night Moth Lip Liner, Current Lip Liner, Lingering Kiss Lipstick, and Cyber Lipstick. Alright guys, on to our next color family. I'm doing reds. And I'm going to start off with my favorite and only red lip liner I have from MAC. And I got it from the Pencil Den Collection from watching Time the Infamous' video. And she tried on Ruby Woo lip liner and I fell in love and I got it the next day. So this is what it looks like on the packaging. This is what it looks like up close. And let me swatch it for you. It's literally Ruby Woo in a pencil. Like, oh my gosh. So this is what it looks like. It goes with every single red or orange lipstick color. It is just the most intense, dark, matte red you'll ever get. So going into Ruby Rule, might as well do the Ruby Rule lipstick. This is what it looks like. Extreme Retro Matte. Let me swatch it for you. Okay. So as you can see, this is Ruby Woo lipstick and this is Ruby Woo um, the lip liner. And, and on camera they look exactly the same, but Ruby Woo lipstick is slightly darker. This is almost like a, surprisingly, a, almost a slight orange color, but it's still the same color. It's really hard to explain, but this is what it looks like, and they pair together so beautifully. Everybody thinks that you have to have a really dark red to be able to pull it off for brown skins, but I'm telling you right now, I will try on every color for you in another video to show you that it looks right on us brown skin girls. So the next lipstick I'm going to talk about is 
a dark red color and it's called diva a lot of girls have it and it's more of a burgundy but it's in the red family so i'll swatch it for you so this is what diva look i'm sorry it's like i'm swatching it on like the weird part of my arm this is what diva looks like and it's just a dark burgundy red color that's really pretty i don't think I don't think I have a picture on Instagram of it. But like I said, I'll do a try-on video next. I just want to show you guys so you can come back if you really want to know for brown okay, skin sorry guys. My memory card just got full. I had to switch it. But the last lipstick I was on in my Red Families was kind of my newest. Well, not really newest, but I got it for Christmas for my birthday. Thanks, girl. Uh, I just said Christmas for my birthday. I got it for Christmas from my sister, and it's Viva Glam 3, and it's a matte lipstick, and it looks like this. It's kind of similar to Diva, but not really, but it's more of a purple red burgundy. I don't know, but it's really cute. It looks like this, so as you can see, or more of a mauve color, yeah. So this is Diva, this is Ruby Woo, and this is Viva Glam 3. Viva Glam 3 is also for um, Max, you know, AIDS Foundation. So all the proceeds go to Mac once you buy a lipstick. So buy these because we need to help them. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. And usually I pair Diva and Viva Glam 3 with current lip liner because I like most of my lips. To be ombre or at least goes or whatever so yeah so guys to my last color family of lipsticks for us brown skins and women of color um the first one is my nudes and many people will probably be surprised of that this lipstick is one of my favorite for nudes but for me i love it and it is myth lipstick this is what it looks like almost blends in with my hands so, I think it's described as a yellow beige or something like that on the website. Don't remember. So, let me just swatch it for you. It's a really different kind of, I don't know, undertone? I don't really know how to describe this one. But you can see it has light pink in it. But it's almost the brightest nude they have. For lipsticks, I think they have a cream sheen one that I tried on was basically white, which was pretty. I remember I tried it on with stone lip liner, but I, it's not for every day. I will wear Myth every day with cork lip liner, which is my next one up for new lipsticks. Well, collection. Um, I use cork lip liner. This is what it looks like for basically most of all my lipsticks that are not like legit colors but for nudes and light pinks I use this one so let me swatch it for you and as you can see it's darker than my skin so it blends out really pretty and even I have a video up here that I did last year but I need to redo because it was really bad quality um, of the lipstick combinations from MAC but this goes really pretty together I have pictures on um, Instagram, I'll use cork lip liner, myth lipstick, and see through lip glass, and that'll just be my favorite new combination for now. My last, so well, my second to last lipstick I have for this is Blankety, and it looks like this. Blankety is a amplified and lipstick. And oh my god, y'all! Oh my gosh, why did I just get so mad? Oh my gosh. Help me God. Well, Blankety just broke and I'm really sad about it. But, let me swatch it for you still. I'm not going to leave you hanging. Oh my gosh, I'm really upset. Oh, did I even swatch it enough? Okay, Blankety is a really pretty pinky... I don't even know how to... Exist. I don't know. Everyone on YouTube never knows how to describe stuff. And I don't either. When you really have to say that out loud, you're like, what am I even saying? But it's a pinky nude. It actually comes off on the lips like a slight gray undertone, which is okay because I also have stone lip liner. I wasn't going to even put it in this video, but why not? 
Let me just swatch stone. And stone is a gray brown color. So as you can see, there's stone, blankety, cork lip liner, myth lipstick. Okay, so I'm just so upset that you So, broke. um... That's all I have right now for my MAC collection, but I know I go into MAC all the time and try on lip combinations I think I would really like. And another lipstick that I will really put in my nude lipsticks for MAC will be Sis. Sis is like the prettiest mixture of brown and nude for brown skin girls. Also, um, Peach Stock, which you will have to use a lip liner like Cork. Or stone if you want like the grayish undertones to it and the last thing I was gonna say I forgot to put in my reds another lip liner I would use with a lot of stuff is mahogany and that's next on my on my list mahogany is a really like kind of describes it. it's like a cinnamon red brown lip liner and I tried it on with I think myth lip gloss which I had but ran out so I got see-through. But that's I'm just all rambling. guys for I have for you today. I hope you really enjoyed this. Somebody on Twitter told me they wanted me to do lip MAC lipstick. Well lipsticks. I just did MAC lipsticks for the brown skin girls, you know. Because everyone is so quick to say that we can't wear certain lip colors. And I'm telling you, you can wear whatever lip color you want. So if you don't remember what I said, I'll just go down the list. This is Impassioned Lipstick. This is Magenta Lip Liner. This is Please Me Lipstick. This is Sore Lip Liner. This is Flat Out Fabulous Limited Edition. This is um Up The Amp. Then it's Night Moth. Current, um, what is this one? I forgot already. Um, sorry, lingering kiss. Sorry, lingering kiss. Cyber Ruby Woo lip liner, Ruby Woo lipstick, Diva Viva Glam 3, Myth Cork lip liner, Blankety, and Stone. So, yep, guys, that's all for I for to. I can't talk. Oh my gosh. Am I going to edit this out? Probably not. Eh. So no. Okay. But thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm actually about to go on my trip. Oh, and um, a quick update. I just got this hair in. I made a full wig and a closure. I'm going to do a video when I come back. I'm going on the Black College tour. So, yes. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you later. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And follow me on all social media. Bye. I love you.